I'm at the Assetec stand here and I'm going to show you some of the really exciting stuff they've got going on. It's a hell of a display. They've got uh, the Pagani pedals on show here. Uh, they've got uh, their new wheelbases. That is a La Prima wheelbase. Um, they've got the, uh, that's another La Prima. Uh, they've got the Invicta over here with a Forte steering wheel. Uh, I actually used this one over here and the force feedback on the Invicta wheelbase was incredible. They were running a Seto Corsa. It was the uh, AMG GT3 car uh, and it felt absolutely incredible. I've gotten a lot of questions about these third party uh, wheel integrations. You can see here that uh, this one over here, for example, this is actually integrated with the Invicta, uh, with the uh, Asetec quick release. So this is an Asher steering wheel, one of their partners. So you can see a list of the people who are going to partner with them. What they can do is they can, uh, and the, the other quick release isn't here. Oh, here we go. This is an example of the quick release. So this has, um, uh, the ability to do a third party integration so companies like cube controls or whatever can just use this quick release attach it to their already usb wheel um, but then integrate it into the um Asetec system which is which is damn cool and the quick release here i'll just show you guys very simple with one hand so this is how it interfaces uh, with the steering wheel itself there are the pins on there and then very very simply uh, it just goes on there so that's really cool that they're thinking about integration with all these other platforms as well. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty deadly because um, it opens up everybody's options because if they do like a cube control steering wheel, but cube controls doesn't do wheelbases. So that allows people to just use this wheelbase. It even allows cube controls potentially to sell these wheelbases on their website as an integrated package, which starts to get very, very interesting. Another thing that you might've noticed here is these base mounts. These are all the base mounts here. They've got the integrated buttons um, so you've got your, uh, your power cut off and your uh, connectivity cut off as well. Uh, and this one here has the front mount on it. So you can take these buttons off and you can uh, install them individually there. And over here we have some uh, of their prototype uh, kind of concept stuff. They've got some handbrakes. That's with the Forte cylinder there. That's with the Invicta uh, hydraulic cylinder. And this, this is one that you guys won't know about yet. This is probably the first time this is being announced. They have an ABS system. Check that out. A real ABS pump from a car on their pedal system and it simulates ABS. It's absolutely incredible. Can, is it possible? Can you push it? So that's a real ABS pump really doing what an ABS pump does. And you can see the movement in the pedal as he's doing that. Um, and it's it's really, it's exactly how the pedal feels. So that is absolutely incredible. I haven't used those yet, but I mean, if it's the real system, it has to feel real, right? <laughs> then they've got loads more of this stuff on display. They're individual pedals, modular pedals, uh, steering wheels with different grip sizes as well. The grip sizes are not uh, immediately obvious. Oh, here's that QR I was talking about. So this is what the QR uh, will look like. Uh, and basically this is a USB termination here, uh, but that can be any uh, integration. It can be from inside here, it can be outside here, and it's a way to connect your existing uh, USB steering wheel to this uh, and integrate it with the, um, with the Asetec system. So that is absolutely deadly. Here's an inverted pedal concept as well. How cool is that ABS system though? I didn't even know they were working on that. That is deadly. If you do have any more questions, do give me a shout. Uh, ask me whatever you want to ask. Um, stuff, I, I got some questions about PCBs and stuff like that, upgrading. It's uh, easy to upgrade certain bits. Uh, other bits, like I can tell you that the Forte and the La Prima uh, wheelbases, they have the same motor, but you can't upgrade like a La Prima to an Invicta. So it does get a little bit more complex and they're not exactly sure if they're going to be doing it via dealers or, or you know, if you're going to be able to do this at home yourself. They're not 100% on that, so don't take my word for any of that. I will, of course, try to find out as much detail as I can, so do ask me whatever questions you want. Um, but that's about it for now. That's a quick look at the uh, Asetec products.